Good evening, everyone. Curry College Chief of the Forecaster, Joe Shock here. A high end tropical storm, Matthew. You can see here looks pretty good on the uh, cloud shot here coming into the islands. Here is my uh, forecast. Let me go back and you can see here. I mean, this is really going to take off. I mean, I think this thing ain't going to play around. This thing is going to become a hurricane by, I think, Friday afternoon, uh, given what I see with the upper air pattern. There is some shear, though, to the west with the upper trough, but it looks like that will continue to uh, weaken as time goes on. Here is my uh, track forecast by tomorrow afternoon. I get this to a 70 mile per hour hurricane. Friday, I get it, I mean, 70 mile hour hurricane, I mean, 70 mile hour tropical storm. It's going to be boiling hurricane strength, I think, tomorrow evening, though. But then, as we get, as I said, into Friday, it's going to be 80 mile per hour hurricane. Saturday, 85. Sunday, 90. Then, in, and then I, I bring it up into the Bahamas, but you can see here in this area, I mean, it really could go anywhere in here. We're going to take a look at some of the ensembles here. And, I mean, it's a very wide spread of possibilities, but I took a blend of everything and still lower the normal confidence even for what I have here in this red circle. And this is Monday through Wednesday of next week. I think it's going to be somewhere within this red circle area, and I think it has a very good chance to become a major hurricane, which is a Category 3 or higher now at winds of 150 miles per hour or greater. So again, Florida, you're very much in play in the Bahamas and obviously the islands. This is a very, very big deal. Whether this goes into the Gulf of Mexico or whether it doesn't because the islands are going to get absolutely hammered by this system. Uh, here is the uh, current of visible imagery you can see here. Again, it really looks quite nice on the imagery you can see there. Uh, it's breathing and it's going to really take advantage of the environment that it's going into. Uh, here are the uh, new uh, spaghetti plots. You can see here the uh, turn north that we, we're still questioning. But interesting to see, you know, this uh, they're coming back. They're coming back uh, to a little bit to the west-northwest. So we'll see what the trend is next couple of days with that. But here's the uh, GFS and Salmo's not moving at all with the idea that this comes due north uh, later in the week and over the weekend. Uh, this takes a shot north. I mean, here's what I've been saying yesterday, and I'm going to say this again. If by the weekend it hasn't made that turn like this, then we know it's going most likely into the Gulf. But if it's taken the turn, then we know it's coming up the East Coast and maybe even out to sea. There's a possibility that this slips out to sea. But I think right now it's a relatively low possibility that this escapes completely. But, I mean, I mean, this is insane. I mean, very, very consistent with the GFS and Samos that this thing is coming up. I mean, very, very consistent. It's been the most consistent. Believe it or not, the Europeans have also been very consistent with this going into the Gulf. So we have two models that have been very consistent with very different forecasts. Uh, so we're going to have to see where they uh, come together and overlap regarding the uh, forecast. I think the European, it's either that the European ensembles, which there are members that do have this uh, situation here. There are European members that bring this thing up here. But there's mo a lot more members, though, into the Gulf and the, the west coast of Florida. So we'll have to see what happens as we get into the weekend uh, with that. Here's the Canadian samples. Again, they're a little further west. But, I mean, it's still making that turn on uh, coming up. Here is the uh, Hurricane Wharf. And this is very concerning uh, because, I mean, obviously it's turning north and strengthening as it does so. And, again, this here is a Saturday. This is the weekend. I looked at uh, six hourly in increments here. This is by the weekend. If this thing is not forecasted to turn north or is not going to be turning north by the weekend, then we could jump on the Gulf of Mexico being hit. But until we can get rid of this northward turn, which I don't think is going to happen because the operational European is up here as well. Believe it or not, just hangs it around down here. Uh, day 6 or 10, the Europeans got a uh, sub-9, 30 millibar low in here for a couple of days. So again, it's more and more likely that we will see a system in here in the longer term again. Uh, impacts, uh, just way too early to talk about that. Yeah, uh, Hurricane uh, GFDL, you can see a very similar turn, uh, then obviously to the north, and then here's the uh, jet stream configuration on the Hurricane Wharf, and very similar to the uh, Hurricane Wharf and the GFDL, both the Hurricane forecast models. I'm going to try to zoom in here, which I can, which is pretty cool now. Now, this is a valid on uh, next, uh, our 126, which is five days from now, and again, they will be making the turn, but here is why this is going to make the turn it's going to make uh, if it's in the correct location. Now, this trough that's coming through by the weekend is going to be over the southeast, so this is going to have a very hard time, I think, getting into the Gulf of Mexico with this kind of a situation being here with these winds here over the weekend being in the western uh, west uh, Florida and the eastern Gulf. This is, uh, this is past the weekend. This is our Monday, I believe, next week, but... Having this wind from southwest to northeast over the eastern gulf, the northeast gulf, 
uh, a little later weekend, early next week. Uh, if the storm's uh, too far south, obviously it's going to miss the trough, but we know it's going to be in the island. So here's my thing is that no way this is going to get in here when this is coming through. It's going to get pulled up, and then this is all going to flex around. But I will say this. Is it possible that this gets shoved out, which is, again, I mean, it's certainly on the table that this gets pulled up and then just chucked out maybe towards Bermuda. Or does this thing get pulled up, this part leaves, and waits for the other piece that's over here, that's in the Rockies, that dives down and grabs the storm. Or is the European correct, where we have a very zonal flow that's coming across here from west to east with the jet stream, and the thing just gets meandered around or just heads out and doesn't bother anyone. I mean, that's still on the table that this thing could still escape and not be an issue for uh, others in the longer term. But again, it's a very, very complex forecast at this time, so there's very, very low confidence. And then you can see here is the National Hurricane Center track. Again, pretty similar to mine. I came out with the track you saw there earlier this morning, and I wanted to see the NHC, and then the NHC came out with this. So again, we have the general idea that this is going to be taking a northward turn. And you can see here again, Saturday and the Sunday, they do begin that process, the NHC 5 p.m. cone update does do that. So again, if this thing goes the 77, 78 west and is still moving to the northwest and hasn't done this critical turn, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is not going to be an east coast threat or the threat of an east coast threat is much slower. But again, if it's within 70, if it's uh, in the, uh, if it's on this line, if you wanted to connect these dots, if it's within this line or to the east of this line, I think we've got some real problems on the East Coast uh, regarding uh, this uh, system. And again, water down here is boiling away, very high heat potential. So this thing could really develop in quite a hurry. Again, as you see here on my uh, forecast track here, I really intensify this thing. And likely, I'm uh, dealing with a major hurricane early next week up here in the Bahamas. But again, and obviously you can see that verification there with the hurricane models and everything else. So again, it's 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 it's, it's a stab and pull situation. We're just going to continue to see what models are doing. I just our forecast from here on out. That's it for now, and thank you for watching.